Hello, and welcome to Power Life Live. Ooh, I'm looking really bright. That's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, my name is Gabe, and this is Jackie, and we are here to do a little bit of bar today. So for class, all you need is a weight and something that you can grab onto for a little bit of balance. And let's go ahead and get started in Downward Facing Dog, please. Downward Facing Dog. All righty, and then just a little bit. Here in your downward facing dog, find a little bit of movement. Pedal out through your heels, bend and straighten your knees, and then find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Press down into all 10 fingers in your hands, lift your hips up toward the ceiling. At the same time, sink your heels down low towards your mat. Take a deep breath in, let it go. One more time, inhale, exhale, let it out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward, ragdoll pose. Pause here and breathe. Bring your feet out to hip width distance or wider. Bend your knees a lot. Let your head and your neck hang heavy. Here in your ragdoll, start to take a moment to think about why you decided to come to your mat today and what you want to get out of your practice. Make that your intention as you move and breathe through this entire class so that as things start to get challenging, you can always come back to this, your intention. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale your left hand down to center. Inhale, reach your right hand up high. Ragdoll with a twist. Pause here and breathe. Find some movement in your hand. Bend, open, circle, twist. Take a breath in. Exhale your right hand down. Inhale, lift your left hand up. Stay here and breathe. You can take similar movements on this side or maybe you try something different. Move through your entire arm, twist through your spine. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, forward fold, heel toe your feet to hip width distance. Inhale, halfway lift, press your hands into your legs, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, pause here and breathe. Slowly rise to standing, press down into all four corners of your feet. Lift your kneecaps to make your quads strong. Tuck your tailbone under, find your core. Inhale, exhale, mini back bend. Breathe here, cactus through your arms. Find space between your shoulder blades. Keep the whole front side of your legs strong. Exhale, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, high plank. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, release to your knees, tabletop. Optional to bring your weight behind your right knee. You can do that or not do it, up to you for donkey kicks. Exhale, lift your foot straight up behind you. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Nice job. Press down into your hands or you can take this from your forearms. I always love that option in my body. That's something that I normally choose. When you lower down to your forearms, it helps take um, some of the dip out of your low back and targets your glutes a little more purposefully, which we always love because that's why we take bar, right? Right, yes, for a little bit of glute work. <laughs> Squeeze your glutes up at the top and know that this movement doesn't have to be super big for you to really feel it and have big impact in your body. So even if you don't lift your legs super high, squeeze your glutes really hard at the top and you will get everything that you need out of this. Nice job, you're here for five. Last four. Pulse it up in three, two, hold it at the top and pulse, 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 tiny pulse up toward the ceiling, one inch lift and one inch lower. To pulse, all you have to do is squeeze your glute. Just squeeze your glutes and your leg will lift up just an inch. Doesn't have to be big, it can be really small and have big impact. Just like the full range of motion, now this is even smaller, but oftentimes you can feel it even more. You're here for four, last three, two, fire hydrants, inhale, lower, exhale, lift to the side. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, down, exhale, lift up. Nice work. Lower your knees down to touch one another and then lift your leg out to the right, squeeze through your outer glutes, press down into your hands and find some space in between your shoulder blades. Take your gaze slightly forward just in front of your fingertips and get that big squeeze of your outer glutes at the top of this movement. Find your breath. If you started to lose it, come back to it. Use your exhales to lift up. Use your inhales to lower down. 
You're here for five. Pulse at the top in four. Last three. Two, pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. It's a tiny movement here. Doesn't have to be big. You've got the playlist that you can grab from the description if you haven't already. And then pulse with the music. Find the beat of your music here at home. You're here for four. Combo out these movements in three, two, one. Inhale, lower, exhale, donkey kick. Inhale, lower, exhale, fire hydrant. Inhale, lower, exhale, donkey kick. Inhale, lower, exhale, fire hydrant. Keep your belly button pulled up nice and tight to keep the dip out of your low back and to target your glutes. You should be able to feel your booty at this moment. Woo, you're here for five. Last four, last three, two, and one. Take your weight out from behind your knee. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out through your knees just a little bit here to stretch after all that glute work. Stay for a full round of breath in and out. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, lower to your knees, tabletop. This time, bring your weight behind your left knee. Donkey kicks. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Yes, nice job. Stay with this. It's the exact same movements that we did on the first side. Now we do it here on this side to even out. Whew. Use your breath to lift. Every time you exhale, that gives you a little bit more strength and power behind your movements. As you inhale, lower slowly to find the eccentric part of this work. Whew. Keep your belly button pulled up and in. And if you start to feel a little shaky here, just stay with it. Everyone's probably feeling a little shaky right about now. Totally normal. You got this. We can do it. Ooh, squeeze your glutes up at the top. We're not here for very long. That's why we add a weight behind your knees because that makes it so that you need a little less time to really feel this. You're here for just five more. Pulse at the top in four. Last three. Two, pulse at the top. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Just squeeze your booty to pulse your foot up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice job. You're here for five. Whew. Last four. You got it, Jackie. Last three, two, and one. Fire hydrants. Exhale, lift to the side. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Whew. Nice job. This little change gives you a bit of relief after doing those donkey kicks. Now your muscles get a restart. They get something a little bit different, which will help trick them from being tired for just a couple of reps. So embrace, embrace that moment at the beginning of every new exercise because that's when things feel the best. And then they start to get tired again. And then we embrace that because that's where the growth is. Ooh, you can do it. You're here for a five. Nice job. Pulse at the top in four. In three, two, hold it up and pulse. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, flex your toes back in towards your knee and make this movement small. You can see that Jackie's movement here is really tiny. It looks great, but you know that she can feel that in her glutes, even though it looks small. You're here for just five more. Combo the movement in four, three, two, and one. Exhale, donkey kick, inhale, lower. Exhale, fire hydrant, inhale, lower. Side to side between the two. And again, even though you've done these movements before and you got tired out, the first couple of the combo feel a little better than it felt when you were just doing the few all together in a row. So stay with that. Keep breathing. We can do it. Almost done. Last five. Whew. Get some standing work coming in four. Last three, two, and one. Release your weights. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Take a breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, lift your right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, low lunge. Capture your weight in your left hand. Inhale, second position. Plie with a bicep curl. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. There we go. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Nice job. Lower down. Press your knees out towards your toes and then lift up. 
Drive out of your heels, give your toes a little wiggle here on your mat. And then with your bicep curl, lower just 80% of the way down and 80% of the way up. That helps you keep your bicep muscle engaged the whole time. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and lower straight down, then lift straight up. Press your hips forward and squeeze your glutes at the top of this movement. Squeeze through your inner thighs, pull everything up and in at the top. Whew. Yes, nice work. You can do this. You can do it. We're not here for very long, so stay with it. Nice job. Yes. Way to get super low into it, Jackie. Know that at home, you don't have to get as low as that to feel this. It can be as low or as small as you need it to be to feel this movement in your glutes and in your quads. Drive out of your heels. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Give your toes a little wiggle. You're here for five. Ooh, hold it at the bottom in four. Last three. Two, hold it low and pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. It's a tiny, tiny movement here. Tuck your tailbone under to firm up through your core. Lift your hip bones up towards your low ribs and tighten across the front side of your body. Take the bounce out of this. Find a one inch lower and a one inch lift. You're here for five. Last four. Whew. Last three, two, and one. Inhale, plie. Exhale, tendu to upright row. Tap your toes. Inhale, second plie. Bend your knees. Exhale, tap your left toes. Drive your elbow up to the ceiling. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Drive out of your right leg to straighten it. Woo, yes. Nice work. You got it. Woo. Yes. Oh, nice job. Let's do the other way so that you tap your right toes. Yeah, nice job. Oh, yeah, and bring your weight into your right hand. Cool. There we go. We're on. We got it. Woo. No worries. Lower down and then lift and tap. Lower down. Lift and tap. Yes, squeeze at the top. Woo. Nice job. You guys are here for five. Hold at the top in half moon, in four, last three, two, and one. Hold half moon, lift and lower your leg with a hammer curl. Inhale, lower your leg, exhale, lift and curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and curl. Flex your toes back in towards your face. Keep your elbow glued in at your sides. Press down into your left foot and find some space on your left side body. Your bar here, whatever that is for you at home, is just here as something to help you balance. So bring your hands gently onto that, whether it's a chair or the wall or your counter. It's just here for a little bit of balance help. Ooh, yes, nice work. You got it. You're here for five. Last four. Hold it at the top. In three, two, hold it at the top and pulse. Pulse. Pulse, pulse, tiny lift, tiny lower. Make this a one inch movement really small with your lifted leg. Find a top of the movement and a bottom of the movement and then move just between those two places even though they are very close together. Squeeze your outer glute to help you do that and press down into your left leg. You're here for five, Whew. last four, last three, two, and one, coupe to half moon with a mid rotator, excuse me. Inhale, bend both of your knees, tap your ankles together. Exhale, half moon, mid rotator. Inhale, coupe. Exhale, half moon, mid rotator. Bring your weight out in front of you and press your knees away from your midline and then lift out to the side. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Yes, so you bend both of your knees here. This coupe, is an exercise that we're doing a lot in class today. It is challenging and it's meant to be challenging. So that's one of the reasons that we will repeat it over and over in a few different positions. It's meant to challenge you to tire you out. I know it's gonna do that, but also it will give you more familiarity about this posture that might be a little unfamiliar for you. You'll get comfortable with it by the end. You're here for five. Whew. Last four, last three, two, 
Inhale, second position, plie. Exhale, bat ma, lift your leg to the front with a low row. Inhale, second plie. Exhale, low row, bat ma. Inhale, second plie. Exhale, low row, bat ma. Yes, nice job. Kick your leg out straight to the front. Rather than crossing it in front of your body, that's super tempting to bring it all the way across. And instead, just lift it up straight to the front. Find some turnout in your legs so that you lift from your inner thigh. Yes, look straight, Jackie. Launch onto your left leg and squeeze your shoulder blades together at your back. Inhale, big step out to the side, plie. Exhale, launch up into your batma and lift your leg. As your leg starts to feel heavy, which it will, the more reps we do here, use your core to help you lift up. Yes, nice job. Every time you come into your second position, plie, maybe you sink just a little bit lower. Woo, you're here for five. Hold your bat ma in four. Hold it up in three, two, and one. Hold it up. Lift and lower your leg with a narrow shoulder press. Tap your toes. Lower your elbow down to shoulder height. Exhale, lift your leg. Press your weight. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Straight down and then straight up. Use the strength of your core to help you lift your leg. Hug up through your core. Hug up and in, and that will help you lift. Maybe you even think about this as a little bit of a crunch. It's a really similar movement to a leg lift when you're laying down on your back. It's so similar to this. Yes, keep breathing. Your breath will get you through. Woo. Hold it at the top. In five. Four. Last three. Two, hold your bat ma, releve onto your left toes. Inhale, bend your knees, coupe, ankles kiss. Exhale, straighten and tricep extension. Inhale, bend your elbows, bend your knees. Exhale, tricep extension, straighten your leg. Everything bends, everything straightens. Woo, yes, nice job. Stack your elbow on top of your shoulder. It stays stacked through this entire movement. Bend both of your knees. Just kiss your ankles together at the front of your body and then straighten them both out. Send your knees away from one another to create a diamond shape in between your legs. So rather than your knees pointing straight forward like this, they'll point out to make a diamond. Woo, nice job. This is coupe again. We're here, coupe round two. There are three rounds and they're almost done. We're almost through it, you guys. We can do this. Last five. Woo, hold it at the top in four. Last three, two, hold it at the top, soften and press your arm and your leg. Inhale, soften, exhale, press. Inhale, soften, exhale, press. Soften, press, soften, press. Yes, make this movement super tiny and then press out so long through your legs. You can stay in your releve on your right leg as long as you can. Once it gets to be too much, just lower down onto your heel. Whew, yes, nice job, Jackie. Jackie's got ultimate accountability of being filmed. So you are just as hard as she is. Imagine that we're filming you, right? You're here for five. Woo, last four, last three, two, and one. Step back out wide, second position, then hinge in towards your bar, crescent lunge with a narrow row. Inhale, lower, exhale, narrow row. Inhale, lower, exhale, narrow row. Inhale, down, exhale, lift up. Hinge forward. So you make a 45 degree angle with your mat and your upper body and your right leg. Then press your right hamstring up toward the ceiling, ground down into your left heel and wiggle your left toes. Yes, get a really good squeeze of your shoulder blades together at the top. Squeeze everything up and in. Woo. We're not here very long, but take this moment to be on two feet. I know it's a lot, it's mostly on your left leg and we've done a lot of single leg work today. So just embrace that, embrace the challenge and remember why you came here today, why you stepped onto your mat, while you picked this video on YouTube. I, it's probably because you wanted to work a little bit hard today. So continue to challenge yourself to do just that. You're here for five more. Whew. Last four, last three. Two and one, launch up onto your left leg, arabesque, extend your right leg behind you and lift your right leg up in front of you. 
You have the option here to take this from a flat foot or from releve, it's your choice. And then extend your arm back behind you, tricep kickback with a coupe. Inhale, coupe, exhale, arabesque, tricep kickback. Inhale, coupe, ankles kiss. Exhale, kick back. Inhale, everything bends. Exhale, kick back. Again, this is another example of coupe where your ankles touch and your knees go away from one another. This is a fondue coupe, which means that you bend your standing leg as well, which is a big part of this challenge. So stay with me. Ooh, we're almost done with this side, you guys. It's gonna be over before you know it. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You're here for five. Ooh. Last four, last three, two, hold it at the top and pulse, 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 pulse your arm and your leg. Square your hips down towards your mat so that both of your hip points point down rather than one kind of lifting up. And then squeeze your booty to pulse your leg just like you did in your donkey kick pulse at the beginning of class. It's the same muscle right here, just squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're here for five. Woo, last four, last three, two, and one. Bring your weight to heart center. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Yes, nice job. Get yourself moving here on your mat. This is your chance to shake out your right leg. After your right leg did all that hard work for you, let everything shake out and wiggle all around. Woo, you can have your feet close together or far apart. We have had very little cardio today though, so appreciate this moment here as kind of a break from your single leg work, from all the standing work that you've done. Ooh, nice job. You're here for five. Last four. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Stay turned in towards your bar. This time, ground into your right leg with your weight in your left hand and arabesque on the other side. You can start with your weight extended out in front of you. Lift your left leg up behind you. You can do this from releve or not. Coupe to arabesque with a tricep kick back. Extend your arm back behind you. Inhale, ankles kiss, bend your knees. Exhale, arabesque, tricep kick back. Inhale, knees kiss, send them away from one another. Create a diamond shape in between your legs. Exhale, kick back. Woo, yes, nice job. Squeeze your booty at the top of this movement. Get everything out of it that you got on the first side here with that big squeeze. It's all about the squeeze. Woo, nice job. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Inhale, everything bends. Bend your knees and your elbow. Exhale, everything extends long. You got it. Woo, love the option that Jackie's got here to take this from Relive. You can try that here now that you've got a fresh quad. Fresh, well, fresh quad, but I meant fresh calf. Fresh calves. Woo. Or if you want to save that calf strength for later, you absolutely can and take this from a flat foot. You're here for five more. Woo, pulse at the top in four. Last three, two, one. Hold it at the top and pulse, 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 pulse. Notice if you've got a big dip in your low back. If you do, hug your core up and in just a little bit tighter to take some of that out to lengthen through your low back. You're almost done. We're here for five. Woo, last four, last three. Two, step your right foot, your left foot rather, all the way back on your mat. Crescent lunge with a narrow row. Inhale, lower. Exhale, narrow row. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale down. Exhale up. Press your left hamstring up toward the ceiling. Ground into your right heel. Wiggle your right toes. And stack your left heel on the ball of your left foot. Ooh, yes, we can do this. Nice job, guys, at home. You're doing great. Stay with it. Woo. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Find your breath here. Your breath helps keep you moving, helps keep you going. When you're feeling a little tired, when you feel like you got nothing left, you do. Woo. You're here for five more. Last four. Last three. Two, and one, open up to second position, plie with a bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, curl. Inhale, lower down, exhale, curl. You've got just as much space here now between your feet as you did when you were in your row. So maybe you bring your feet out a little wider now. 
you're not sure, this second position in bar is wider than it actually is in ballet. So it's a wide second position where you have a lot of space between your heels. Then drive out of your heels, squeeze your inner thighs, press your hips forward to squeeze your glutes at the top. Give your toes a little wiggle. You don't need your toes to do this movement. You got it. I love Jackie's option to bring her hand to her hip. That helps bring a little more stability and balance challenge into this work but you've got two feet on the mat here. So that's not too bad. It's a good place to try that on if you wanna work on more balance. This is a great place to start. Whew. If you do have your hand on your balance, on your support, notice if you are holding on really tight and instead give your fingers a little wiggle, find a gentle grasp, a gentle touch to your balancing assistance, your helper. You're here for five more bicep curls. Pulse it at the bottom in four. Woo. Last three, two, pulse at the bottom. Pulse it low, pulse, pulse, pulse. Again, find your beat to the music that you're blasting today, whether it's the music that I suggested or it's your favorite workout tunes. Pulse it here, pulse, pulse, pulse. Tiny lift, tiny lower. Pulse your bicep as well as your legs and keep breathing. Use your exhales to let go of some of the heat that you've built up and to find more strength. You're here for five, Woo. last four, last three, two, inhale, second position, plie, exhale, upright row, tendu, tap your toes. Inhale, second plie, exhale, tendu, tap your toes with an upright row. Big step out, and then launch up onto your right leg, tap your toes, drive your elbow up to the ceiling, and squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. Every time you step out to second position, can you step just a little bit wider than you want to? Yeah, nice job. Dry, drive your elbow up to the ceiling, squeeze your shoulder blades together at your back. You're doing great. How you feeling, Jackie? We're doing good. She's still here with you. You got this at home. Whew, you are not alone. Doing it together. You're here for five more. Hold your half moon in four. Last three. Two, lift your foot up off your mat. Leg lower and lift with a hammer curl. Inhale, lower your leg. Exhale, lift and hammer curl. Inhale down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Nice job. Here with your leg lift and lower, take the momentum out of this work. Lower down slowly. Lift up. Pause for a second at the top. And then lower down slowly from that spot. Find the pause so that you take out just the swinging of your leg. That's all momentum. Here I want you to feel your outer glute at the top of this movement, similarly to how you felt it in your fire hydrants. Again, it's a similar muscle group. A little more in your hips here this time. You got five. Pulse at the top in four. Whew. Last three, two, and pulse. Pulse, pulse. Tiny pulse at the top. Flex your toes in towards your face and squeeze your bicep muscle to pulse up. Pulse, 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 pulse. Whew. Nice work. Squeeze your elbow in at your side. Make this movement really small. Find control. You're here for five. Whew. Whew. You got it, we're here. It's coupe in four, three, two, and one. Inhale, coupe, bend both of your knees, kiss your ankles, exhale, half moon, mid rotator. Inhale, coupe. Exhale, half moon, mid rotator. Inhale, coupe. Exhale, mid rotator. Woo, yes, nice work. We got this. Press down into your right leg. Create more space across your right side body. It's so easy when you're spending a long time doing exercises like this that are challenging on one leg to dump into your right side. And that looks kind of like this, I'm exaggerating. But then press down into your legs so you can lengthen all the way up your side. Inhale, bend your knees, press them away from each other. Exhale, kick out to the side. Whew, if your right leg is starting to feel shaky here, I'm gonna bet that you're right on track. I'm gonna bet that most everyone that takes this is feeling a little shaky in these moments. You should be. If you're not, think a little bit lower. Find a bit more challenge. You got five more. Whew. Last four. Last three, two, and one, step out, second position, inhale, lower to a plie, exhale, low row, bat mock, kick your leg to the front. 
Inhale, second plie. Exhale, low row, bat ma. Inhale, second. Exhale, bat ma. Woo, yes, nice job. Kick your leg straight out to the front rather than across your body. It just goes straight out, which is kind of hard when you've got all the momentum coming forward. So it's okay if it comes a little bit across. And then use not just your hip flexors, but also your inner thighs from your turnout and your core to help you lift your leg. Your bat ma doesn't have to be as high as Jackie's or mine. It can be lower. Woo. Maybe yours is higher. That's great too. We're all gonna do this a little bit differently. You're here for five more. Hold your bat ma, narrow shoulder press with your leg lift and lower in four, in three, two, hold it at the top. Inhale, tap your toes, lower your weight to shoulder height. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, bend your elbow. Exhale, lift. Bring your elbow down in front of your body and then lift it up. From the side, it looks like this. My weight is straight over my head and then I lower down just to a 90 degree angle in my elbow and press it straight back up. Whew, this is a great time to come back to your core strength. Use your core to help you lift your leg. I promise it makes this a lot easier. Your core is here to help you through these big challenging movements. Squeeze it at the top. You are almost done with the standing work here today. This is your last coupe that's coming in five. That's good news. In four, last three, two, one, releve onto your toes. Inhale, coupe, ankles kiss. Exhale, tricep extension. Inhale, bend your elbow, bend your knees. Exhale, straighten everything. Keep your elbow stacked on top of your shoulder through the entire movement. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Woo, yes, nice job. We're doing great. Almost done here with your coupes. Kiss your ankles and then kick your leg back up into your bat ma. Press your knees away from one another. Find more turnout here in your legs, more of a diamond shape in between. Yeah, if you need to stand up and shake it out at any time, you know you can do that. Your breaks here on your mat are up to you. Woo, we got this. You get to shake this out in just a moment and then we're basically done. Then you've got a little bit of core, then we'll cool down. You're here for five. Woo, last four, last three, two, a chape jumps, weight to heart center, hop your feet in and out, in and out, in and out, yes. You can take this however you want. Maybe you take them really fast, hop in and out quickly to get more cardio, since this is only the second cardio burst that we really have today. But I know you're getting a cardio workout because a lot of those movements were big movements. So even though you weren't jumping all through class, you are getting a cardio workout either way. <laughs> Ooh, hop in and out, in and out, in and out. The faster you go, again, the more cardio you get. Maybe you slow it down and sink really low each time, and that'll give you more strength. You can also ooh, take it side to side. I love that choice. Ooh, you're here for five. Yes, last four, three, two, and one. Exhale, low lunge to the top of your mat. Release your weight, lower to your back knee. Inhale, tabletop, and then swing your legs around. Come onto your backs for a bit of core. Ooh, let's start with legs up the wall crunches. Press your feet straight up to the ceiling. Flex your toes back in towards your face, fingertips behind your ears. Inhale, glue your low back to the mat. Exhale, lift your chest, your chin straight up, just a crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We got quick core here. Not much time left here at the end. Whew. We'll get in three core exercises. That's what we got. You have five more of your legs up the wall crunches. Because this is quick and dirty core, if you want to make it a little harder, instead of having your legs straight up to the ceiling, bring them down to a hover, and you'll get more core work the whole time. You're here for four, three, Two rope climbers, opposite hand to opposite foot. Lift and twist. Lift and twist. Whew. You can take these really fast and keep your shoulder blades up off the mat the whole time, or you can slow it down and lower all the way down between each rep. Those are both great choices. Neither one is wrong. They're just a little bit different. Whew. You're here for five. Single leg, lower and lift. Actually, let's do double because there's only, this is the last exercise. Last four. Three, two, double leg, lower and lift. Inhale, lower your legs to a hover. Exhale, lift them up. This is your last bit of hard work. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
You can have your thumbs underneath your booty to support your low back. I want your low back to stay on your mat the whole time. Or you can bring your thumbs out from underneath your glutes and just find more core strength to help stay engaged through that challenging movement. If you'd like, you can always switch to single leg lower and lifts, lower just your right leg and just your left leg. That's one of my favorite options at the end of a class like this when my core and my hip flexors are already tired. You're here for five. Almost done, last four. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, bring your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. Massage out your low back. Woo. And then find a figure four stretch when you are ready. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Flex your toes in towards your knee joints. Take a little rock side to side to massage out your low back. Relax through your shoulders, your chest, your face. Start to slow down your breath. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, send your legs off to the left, supine twist. You can keep them in this figure four shape if you like, or you can unwind your legs and stack knee on top of knee. Relax your shoulders back down onto your mat. And again, start to release. Check back in with what you told yourself at the beginning of class was your reason for getting here. And do a quick reflection on how class went for you. Were you able to get what you needed out of class? Hopefully, yes. Maybe what you needed wasn't exactly what you thought you wanted when you started. That's okay, too. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, pull your knees back to center. Take figure four on the other side. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. And then take some movement here. Rock side to side. Pull in tight whatever it is that you need to stretch out after this class today. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, send your legs off to the right, supine twist. Relax your shoulders down. Come back to your breath. Here at the end of class, I want you to think about what you want to get out of the rest of your day. How can you set an intention now, just like you did at the beginning of this class, here at the end, for the rest of your day? What do you want to get out of the rest of your day? Why, why are you here today? It doesn't have to be anything life-changing and big. Maybe your intention at the beginning was to breathe. You can take that with you, just to breathe through your day. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, pull your knees back to center. Give yourself a big old hug, a squeeze. Thank yourself for taking this time for you on your mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, Shavasana, your final resting pose. Release your arms and legs long or to wherever is comfortable. Release breath, release tension. I'll pull you out of this in just a moment. Slowly start to invite breath and life back into your bodies. This can start small, with a wiggle in your fingers and toes, with movement in your wrists and your ankles, your elbows, your knees. And then when you're ready for it, find a long body stretch. Reach your arms up overhead, reach your toes long down your mat. Take a breath in again. Exhale, roll onto your side, and then press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Your eyes can stay closed or your gaze can be soft. We'll end with a breath all together. On your inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, pull your hands down together at heart center. The light and the strength in me sees and honors the light and the strength in you. Namaste.
Namaste. Round of applause for you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. And we hope you have a great rest.